Hey everybody, this is my dual extruder for the Maker Gear M2 using the E3D V6 hot ends. So this is um, an older version. I've actually redesigned it, and I have not yet printed the new the new stuff. But I wanted to give you an idea of what I was doing. So one of the things that's changed in the newer version is that this has been moved over so it won't hit here because right now as it moves over it hits into there. So that's kind of an issue. Um, on my last dual extruder I, I printed another stop here that would uh, prevent it from going too much further. So this one, it does function as it is, but I'm going to be replacing that with the uh, original part. In my last duel, I had them side by side this way instead of this way. So, let's take this off. I um, decided to print a new shroud because I wanted to get them as close as possible and when I bought my E3D hot ends the one of the fans that came with it didn't function and the guy refused to replace it and uh, instead of getting one of those little tiny ones again I just I'm gonna go with the, the bigger one um, so it's uh, a new design Instead of having the, oh, I have to actually maybe look at this. There you go. Um, the motor fixed. It actually pivots on this like that, so it can slide out the hot ends on this slot here. You can kind of see how they move a little bit, but it's got a filament in it right now, so it's not gonna come out. And when the motor, the piece is in place, I actually have a, a little knob back in there that clamps down onto the side of the hot end and, and locks that into place. So, of course the advantage is that you can just slide the hot end in all the way with the uh, Teflon tube cut at the uh, at the right height so that that uh, Teflon from the, the spool comes in right there and then uh, stops right there. So there's a very small little opening just for the gears. Um, I do have a backing bearing on the gear to try to take some of that tension off of the gear. That's actually not tension, it's compression sideways. And then there's the other bearing, the original, the one that we usually have back there behind the filament that, uh, that you can see. All right, what else? So this is obviously a direct drive and then a Bowden. And uh, I just decided to reuse my old make a gear extruder <laughs> printed an adapter there and a new mount and uh, that seems to be working pretty good all right well I think that gives you an idea